Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 10, Episode 3. You can't find these on Prime Video, but if you go to YouTube and put in your search, Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 10, some possibilities come up. And that is how I found this episode. Uh, there aren't many of them, but let's see what we got. Let's get started. And please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe. So many people watch, uh, which is really exciting. But, uh, oh, I'd love to have more subscribers too. I don't know why. Anyway, here we go. So we know by now that the artists have to submit a portrait, and that is what the judges look out in order for them to be accepted onto the program. They actually submit three, or, or can submit three self-portraits. Look how expressive that one is. It has a lot of humor. I enjoy that. Here is another one. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I can't tell what medium that is, but it's on paper, so I, I'm wondering what that is. You know, if it's on canvas, I'm going to assume it's oil or acrylic. If it's on paper, then I'm not so sure. That's interesting to put a box in the middle of the format. That's an interesting design element. Boy, that is a beautiful, beautiful drawing. Drawer, you know, people who, who do drawings are at a bit of a disadvantage when it comes to this program. They're seldom chosen as as winners. Um, oh, that's an interesting composition too. But remember, you know, the people that com have the final commission, you know, where the uh, final painting is going to end up on a gallery wall, they're going to have certain criteria. And I'm, I'm kind of guessing that, uh, that the judges already know what that criterion is and have to follow it. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's I, I, I really enjoy humor when it's used in portraiture. That is, uh, and I also like when there's like a capture, a real expression. That looks to me, I wonder if that's a drawing too. Well, we're, we'll find out a little bit later. Oh, that's interesting. All right. It, uh, now, again, because I'm not getting these from Prime Video uh, on Amazon, uh, what you're able to get in terms of screen capture is not as perfect as what you can get from um, Prime Video, but but we gotta we gotta deal with what we got. Oh wow, look at that! That's really beautiful too. Very detailed. So far today, we have very detailed artists, which is interesting. And as always, I, I don't know who the winner will be, but this is a very varied field, and we know the judges like that. Oh uh, yeah. I love that kind of painting. I, I love soft paintings. I love paintings that look like they're painted with feathers and kitten paws. It's just my preference. Uh, I don't necessarily do it, but boy, do I lean toward that type of painting. Oh, now here's a very academic painter, and we know the judges in general don't like that. I don't know why they don't like it. I think it's so, so impressive. But in the past, they have completely passed over this kind of painting. They they, they just don't respond to it. All right, our first person up. I looked up this name phonetically and practiced it endlessly, and I cannot say it. So God bless you if you can say it. But our first model up is, let's see what he does. He is a British radio presenter. And I'm not sure, oh, I see. It's a, it's a see-through head next to him with some headphones. Now the artists turn their easels around and we get our first look at what they've done. And here's the first one up that looks very, very much like him. Wow, that, that's, that's a really nice job. I like that kind of painting. It, it tends to match what you see. There aren't a lot of color, color value swap outs going on, but, but boy, it's, it's very exciting and very warm. Lots of warm tones being used there. I kind of, re oh, it was the person who had that very expressive self-portrait. Oh, I think he'll go far. But hashtag Joe is always wrong. I'll be wrong. I'm always wrong. Here's the next one up. Um, wow, it's just not as accomplished as the one we last saw. And, and I'm sorry, but it is a competition. So when you have one painting next to another, you know, and the po point of the program is to uh, make decisions, you, you kind of go, okay, uh, but I prefer the first one. But that's an exciting piece as well. He also went with very warm tones so that even his, his neutrals lean toward yellow which is, oh, oh my gosh, oh, oh, okay, now we're into Sophie's Choice land, because I really love this. Oh, all these three have been really, really great paintings. They've all captured his image. They're all very different. 
Oh, but I love how spare that is. Wow, I really like that. Oh, I love spare and quiet. Yeah, she's speaking my language. Uh, will it have the impact that the judges want? That remains to be seen. Now, Nahal is going to pick one to take home, and let's see which one he picks. Oh, he picks this one. You know what? I would have picked that one, too. I like them all, but this one just gives me such a sense of peace. Oh, anyway, um, art is subjective. Whatever you like, you like. Jay Rayner is our next model. He's an English journalist and food critic. He looks familiar to me somehow. Maybe he's been on the Food Network or one of those food competition shows. Yes, this is not the only competition show I watch. I admit it. But I tend to watch skill-based competition shows. I'm not interested in social, you know, the social arguing kind of shows. Here are the three artists who have turned their easels around. We get our first look. And, of course, he's going to pick one to take home. Looks like a good field. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yes. Boy, this person showed up, got the job done. Beautifully done. Yeah. Every single stroke really, really matters here. Uh, not, it's not exciting in terms of color, but it's also, um, boy, it's darn exciting. I, I, that's, if, if I was going to hire someone to take, to do my portrait, this is, oh, she's the academic painter. Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, if she had had more time, she would have taken this considerably further, but she'll be judged on what she did, not on what she didn't do. This is, I believe, a charcoal drawing. Love the soft edges. I don't know how to respond to black and white as much as I do. Well, I do. I do know how to respond to black and white. I tend to look for masses, and that's just not happening in this particular drawing. And maybe it doesn't have to in drawing. Drawing and painting, they have similarities, but there, there are also some distinctive differences. It's beautifully done. Oh, he's the one who had that self-portrait with a little bit of humor in it, with his hands going around his head. He's very, very good. Oh, wow, another another bit of a Sophie's Choice. Oh, and look at this one. Oh, I love how relaxed the figure is. Although, I think I like the first one the best. Um, just in terms of na absolutely nailing the resemblance. But, you know, hooray, because you, you have only two hours to work, then lunch, then two hours more to work. So to tackle the face, the hands, the, the body, the chair, that's a lot to cover. And she did it really, really well. Oh, boy. Well, let's see which one he picks. And like I said earlier, it has nothing to do with the final judging, but it's an honor. Let's see which one Jay picks. I have no idea. Oh, he picks this one. I'm kind of surprised. I thought he would pick the first one. Hmm. It's interesting. Famous people often don't pick the very the painting that resembles them the most. They must see their images like millions of times, unlike us. Susan Reed is our next model, and she is a English television presenter. And they put her in, ter in front of some pretty vivid stripes and and, uh, and a coffee mug that's next to her. That must Maybe that's the program she presents on or something. All right, well, that looks very much like her. And it looks like a really good job. This person tackled the head and the face. And, and in the time constraints, it's probably about all you... Well, it's all I could manage, that's for sure. Oh, now we pull away. Yeah, it's, it's a little harder to see it. Uh, from, again, when the screen capture from uh, YouTube is not perfect. But I think that's a really, really stunning piece. So let's see what happens. So that is number two, uh, one in this particular grouping. Here's our next one. Oh, so this is a drawing. I don't understand the device of using the squares. I don't, I don't really understand that. I, I'm I'm not a fan of just of that device. I think it's a really nice drawing, but but I don't understand. Uh, it doesn't hold together for me, but that's my eye. Maybe that doesn't happen for you. Here here we can see a side view of it, so we can get a an idea of the size and proportion, which is somewhat helpful. Hmm, interesting. All right, we have one more to go. Oh, oh, I love this. Uh, I love this kind of painting. I mean... Yeah, I just, I just do. Because what it does is it takes lots of color spots of value and put them together, and in the end they build forms. I just think that's so essential to what painting is. You know, it's not, it doesn't have the kind of detail some of the other pieces had. Um, but, gosh, from far away I think it holds up really well, but I don't think it's going to, 
I don't think that's something they're going to respond to. I think it might be a little too vague for them. But it's not too vague for me. I say bring back the vagueness. <laughs> I'm all for it. So it's so gentle and, oh, it, you know, this kind of painting, it almost looks like falling leaves in a way. Oh, uh, let's see which one Susan picks to take home. She's not going to pick that last one. No, she's going to pick the first one. Yeah. All right. That makes a lot of sense. That's a beautiful job. All right, well, now we get on to the final judging. So now the final judging begins. Only three people will be selected from today's episode, and only one will go forward to the semifinals. Remember, the artists have spent the night in London. They probably don't live in London, so they had to travel. They have hot television lights. They have a crowd around them. They've been uh, had interviews throughout the program. It's, it would just be such an intense experience. So here's our first one. This is the very academic painter. They're not gonna pick her. I know it, I know it, I know it. They've passed up academic paintings a million times. Here's the second one. Beautiful job. Um, this person might be in the running to win the episode. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, it's a very blended painting. Um, oh, this, yeah, okay. This is, um, this is a pretty varied field. You go from the academic to a, a more matchy-matchy kind of painter, and then this one, which is kind of a mix of the two. Now we get a chance to see the portrait they had f where they had unlimited time on the left and the portrait that they did today in the four hours. This gal, she can paint and rings around just about anybody. She is fantastic, and they are going to pass her up. I promise you that. This one I love because of the humor. He came, he delivered, he got the job done. Four hours, it's absolutely complete. Look how relaxed the pose is. And he absolutely captured the image of who was in front of him. Beautiful job. This one, um, well, she didn't have the time to do the kind of detail that she did in her submitted piece, but she, boy, she sure is capable of it. That's for sure. Um, my guess, uh, I'm always wrong, but I've watched this program enough to know the judges' biases by now, so I, I think I know who's going to win. Now we get one more look at the three painters and their paintings, and in a second, the judges are going to select their winner, and that person will go on to the semifinal episode. So let's see who it is. The winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Yep, this is the winner. So yay! You know, this was a good program. We had some really good um, painters. Remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.